Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. My name is Marcus and um, this is Squirtified Engineering. Uh, the name is currently based on my nickname and uh, I will take that more on that on a, in a later video. Uh, my main project is my Toyota Supra. It's from uh, 1989 so it's a mark 3 with a sports roof or targa top it has the 7m gt uh, which is uh, fully built by myself i intend to do as much as possible uh, whenever i can whenever i have the means for it so with the engine i did everything besides the upgraded parts and of course the machining work since I don't have the machines and it's quite expensive to buy in those just for one engine even though there will be more engines in the future uh, I'm currently in the process of painting my Supra it's only been going on for five years but I've had uh, a lot of stuff going on in between so I haven't worked on it every day um, but uh, I'm currently uh, sort of in the end game so I'm hoping to drive it soon but uh, since it's been sitting for so long I actually need to do a timing belt change so I will change the, um, um, some seals for the camshafts, uh, the crankshaft and so on. Um, let's, let's have a look. So this is my engine bay. And you can see 7M GT. And let's every other riser I did the uh, rising sun and as you see here down below uh, the uh, harmonic mm -hmm. balancer is removed I did that last night and um, with uh, there were some troubles so I have replaced the stock harmonic balancer with the uh, ATI uh, super whatever the name is um, and uh, it's empirical sorry imperial threads on it so I only had the screws for the AC pulley to use uh, so I built my own uh, uh, pulley to puller sorry English is not my mother tongue I'm in Sweden uh, but anyway I built the tool myself and uh, after work I got off at 11 o'clock last night I drove to my where I rent a garage spot and um, tried it and semi failed because uh, the uh, the screw I used in the in the puller uh, got stuck so uh, I I pulled off the screw uh, so I had to do some uh, on the fly modifications in order to get the balancer off but I succeeded in the end so now I can continue with the, the service work of the engine and uh, let's have a look at some of the other areas of the car so this is usually how my Supra sits when I'm away from the garage. I don't want it to collect 
dust. Um, but I've managed to install the interior of my tuning laptop. Uh, it's uh, sort of cleaned, but I will uh, do it again at a later stage and the seats are not really in great condition so I have another set of seats from another car that's going in and this is what it looks like now uh, the reflection is quite good One thing. So if I put a flashlight on my face, you can see it quite clearly. I've done all the painting myself. Uh, started out with a solid color. You may, you can uh, guess which color this is. And on top of that, I added uh, several layers of clear coat, which I wet sanded and finally polished. So recently I installed these B pillar trims. Uh, this is just a rattle can matte black. Uh, I, ha I initially wanted to put on plasti dip, but I got some uh, reaction with the plastic, so I ran out of plasti dip. So I switched to matte black just in order to get them installed. Because once installed, uh, I could install the back seat and interior. I currently have some leather cleaner and conditioning uh, applied, so that's why it's uh, quite glossy in some areas. And I've also redone the headliner in a fake suede, I think it's called. I've also recently installed the rear bumper and if we look inside some light, you see a wire just in the middle of the picture um, that one is for the parking sensor so behind the this uh, bumper cover there's a parking sensor, so we'll see how that works, more on that later. I've also used uh, valve line uh, body paint, uh, this, this uh, stone ship paint. Uh, I already had it in the wheel houses, but I added some extra just to cover up the overspray from the painting. I also added it on the sides of the car and behind some plastic parts. Um, <coughs> the fuel tank has uh, just been reinstalled. I, uh, The fuel tank has been upgraded with a new uh, fuel pump, a uh, Volbro 455. Uh, but I need to double check if I installed the hoses correctly. So uh, the idea is uh, with this uh, channel is to uh, sort of give me more motivation to continue the work with my project so I can finish 
but uh, also if you will learn anything then that's the bonus so and also in order to get uh, ideas and tips I used to have uh, uh, project threads uh, on several different forums but it was too time consuming with uh, the image hosts going down and so on uh, so I think this is a more convenient way of uh, doing updates so currently I'm only on my uh, cell phone but the idea is to have is to bring my GoPro with me so I can have some time lapses uh, which might make it more fun for you don't know and uh, basically I'm very new at this so if you can give me any tips any hints uh, any ideas on uh, what you'd like to see then that would be great then we can design this channel together and uh, everyone can benefit so I'll start working and uh, uh, get back to you shortly here we have the passenger side door it's currently very di dirty so I will uh, start off by cleaning it but there are some <laughs> paint defects Yeah, right there is like a, something stuck in the paint, some dirt. <coughs> All my parts have, as you might guess, been painted in this area. I wet it down with water. I shut off and the passage to the other part of the garage and then I paint. The door is uh, cleaned and let's see there are several defects in the paint. Remember this was done in a garage and also Not sure if you can hear this. This is a microfiber towel. So I have uh, other crap from the garage on top. And here you might see, yeah, something there. So I will take those off with a razor blade and then I will uh, wet sand this with I'm not really sure if I need 1500 I usually go 1500 by hand 2000 and then 3000 with machine but the orange peel in this is very minimal so I might do 2,000 by machine. I will have to try. So here I've tried first 2,000 grit on uh, machine. Wasn't happy with that, so I tried 1,500. So I think I will continue with that. Um, I don't have a good razor blade it seems getting all these stupid scratches but yeah I have to fix that the passenger door is getting better and better I'm still uh, wet sanding by hand 1500 grid, grit <coughs> and you see that I still have some Orange peel to sand off. But it's getting 
and close. And I think I won't be too obsessed about uh, uh, edges having a bit more paint uh, left on there. I don't think it would be too noticeable anyway. <coughs> yeah, so soon it will be time for 2000 grit on the machine. I think I'm finished with the 1500 grit. It's starting to look okay. Uh, I will do some by hand on the edges just to clean it up a bit. And then move over to 2000 grit on machine okay so I've finished with the uh, 2000 grit on machine and as you can see the surface is becoming more unified and compared to what it looked like after uh, wet sanding by hand 1500 grit So I will uh, just touch up on some areas with 2000 grit and then continue with uh, 3000 grit. And for those of you who are interested, this is the machine I'm using. Uh, a pretty cheap one I found on eBay. In the UK. I was using an electrical one mm -hmm. but uh, that one didn't like uh, wet sanding so the fan exploded in that one. That's why I bought the uh, air driven one. Okay see you shortly. The passenger door is Finally ready for polish. I will start with a compound and a microfiber pad. Um, and then polish in a fine microfiber pad or a foam pad. So this is how the door looks now after a bit of compounding. It's uh, okay, but not really perfect. I think the, uh, the video does lie a little bit. But, uh, I think it's okay for now. So I will uh, do some polishing. And see if that improves the reflection a bit. I guess the door is finally finished. So all that's left to do now is uh, to mount it on the car. And uh, as I've already said, I'm not perfectly 100% satisfied with this result, but it will do for now. Um, I think the reflection is quite okay. So the final step of today, a big one. The door is mounted. Woohoo! I might need to adjust it a tiny bit. But uh, yeah. 
it's in place. So that's good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first oh, covering the mic, mic maybe. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed my first episode. Um, and you see that the door is mounted, at least semi temporarily. Um, now I need to clean everything up and hurry back home because t tomorrow morning I'm going out motorcycle riding. So maybe I'll show some stuff from that. Uh, yeah, like everyone else says, uh, subscribe, press like if you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, feel free to comment. Okay, uh, I don't have a catchphrase, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, good night.